Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Well, last episode of our next main quest area unlocked, we first started dealing with the requests picked up, starting with a taste of home and Krogunk's curative poison completed in Jubilee Village, where we headed to the Crimson Mylands, where we were asked to water a pseudo Wudo and found a charm lost in the swamp, with a task allowing Kulava to evolve into his final form, the Ghost Fire Typhlosion. Now, we continue on. Oh, wow, he's a bit knocked out. I better rest him up. Well, that was cool. Okay, I may have completely failed at, you know, the side thing of catching an alpha. But that guy seems to be a bit of a nightmare, is what I say. Just a little. We got three quests done while we were here, didn't we? It's a bit more weirdly chill. <laughs> so you found a cure for my sign up. Let's give it a shot. Wow, the sign look all better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the galaxy team before, but if you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. And um, what did you call that stuff again? Secret medicine. Gosh, the Galaxy team must be very talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilee sometime. And it's Dragon Side I could deal with. Alright, then. Uh, wait, I mean, when you're saying Eevee at night because it's just become night, I can't evolve it because it needs friendship to evolve. So it will have to be my party for a while longer to be able to do that. It is conveniently night, but I'm I need another ingredient. Is how to put it. All right, so we checked out this area a little bit more. Got some more stuff. I just don't know about certain other things at this point. Cherim. Pokemon with free leaves. Uh, I can probably just go sort out Roselia quickly. Get the Pokedex entry done. <laughs> Sometimes the noises, man. I'm always kind of expecting there to be like a Pokemon back here. It's like respawning. Or like moving into the place. Right, we know this is where the Murkrows are and they are very violent. I do wonder if I can level up Eevee's friendship not just from having it at the party a certain time. That is an Alpha Roselia. Okay, a bit short. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it was right on its head! Come on! <laughs> That's probably the actual thing I dislike the most about what's going on in this game. Is that the Pokeballs have like an efficacy limit. Even if I like bang on, get that shot. It's kind of taken away from me. A lot of alpha Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not sure I subscribe to the whole no sniping bit. That was a great shot. It should have been a plus bonus surprise KO shot. Who can still see me? I want to go back for that Roselia. Not only am I here for the Pokedex entry. Something's after me and I have no clue what it is.
Okay, I finally ran far enough away. Some of these guys get replaced with Haunters and Ghastlies. I think news seems to be going down here. Alright, now that they've left for a distance, I can go forward again. Well, the wing type balls actually have a, a range as well. They go longer, fly straight and true, but they definitely want you in this game to be within a certain distance of any Pokemon you're fighting. That sees you from so far away. Not only sees you from so far away, it keeps on at you from so far away. Like, this is that dude. It legitimately won't let me go back. Alpha Roselia is not a friend. <laughs> All right, well. If I want in. Oh, wait, can I? I was wondering if I could use the battle itself to move myself into position. And it actually worked out. Which I'm quite surprised with. Alright, lead and ball to the back. Thank you. Got him. <gasps> Let's go. Right, we've hung about, we've done some random stuff, we did some quests. Now it's time for us to experience something new. That's now for Paris. No, 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 get out of my way. How many people are we fighting here? Oh, I think I need to run. <laughs> I know how to get down slowly. Where is it? It's over there. Can I get over there? Tell me I can go to that thing. Tell me I can... Oh, I bet I can. I bet I can't go over there. I can't. What the hell is it? I'll have to go around the long way then if I can't jump up here again like I did last time. Now, how 
How long does that stay up for? No, <laughs> that's a bit weird. I don't know if I can fast travel and it stays. Like, what the hell is this? Okay, so we're within something, but nothing new is happening yet. There's weird music. Which Pokemon saw me? Oh, you get. You want to go? Yeah, it's definitely not here yet, whatever it is. All the Pokemon in here are normal. There's a Ralts randomly. Do I have to stay out of it? So I get a while until this actually coagulates, if I can call it that. Let's go try and catch this Tangrowth then. I mean, it took me a bit to travel here in the first place, so... That just gets caught straight away, that'd be funny. I kind of knew it wouldn't. It's forming. You really want to do this? <laughs> You're higher level than me. You're filled with wild might. I don't want to kill you. But I've got to do some damage. Alright, but you're going down. Oh, okay, he's got way loads of HP. And I'm asleep. I'm only dowsy. I'm not asleep yet. Oh, Typhlosion's too drowsy. Not good. There are some regrets. I mean, I do have a good few good attacks to use here. Okay, so we can actually see what the move does if I do that. The move powers effects are boosted, but the cost of making your turn more likely. The effects are reduced. And you can tell you what the power stats are as well. That's interesting. I feel like I should just hit it with a stone axe, to be fair. Get the damage on over time on him. If 
this thing just has rock slide endlessly. I'm so doomed. <laughs> I could throw a stun for it. I could have done that, yeah. But I'm a fool. I could use a lot on this team. It's more the fact that I took out three of my Pokemon to do certain things with. To, like, level them up and stuff. That's caused a little bit of an issue. Just a bit. I can't even go. Ideally, I'd want to go fast. <laughs> and survive more than one hit. No bird. Small, okay, the splinters are gone. Even the Agile Star won't get me the HP down a little bit more. I kind of wish I just try, remained to try and catch it now rather than did what I did. Oh, even that won't heal him enough. So the max revive is probably better. Probably better fighting with Agile Style Flame Wheel to take it down a little bit more. Even if I take out Star Ravia. <laughs> Agile Rock Slide. But it needs to go faster, you know? But I think it's just going to do another move to someone again. Okay, it didn't. That's the only one I know can survive more than one hit. My poor Max revives. Oh, okay, that's fine. I like that. That's not a bad idea. Good. I didn't like that. That was bad. That was very irritating. So now it's about, do I try to capture? Which is what the intention was. That's why we came into this fight. I don't think it's going to get caught that easily. <laughs> yeah, because you need that. So that means it can knock out Typhlosion now in one hit. I mean, all I can do now is run. Now it's enraged. We're screwed. I mean, I can just beat him. Which is the only way to keep my overall survival, I feel. Not good. So this will show up at some point in time, supposedly. Will fast traveling affect that? No, it's still there. The bubble is there. By rest, will it affect that? If it is, then I've just wasted all that time. I will not be massively happy. Right, does that mean it's fully appeared now? Okay, cool. Maybe waiting a while actually fast forwards the movement. Well, in the end, we had a beat up the Tangro. Wasn't my intention, but... Uh, the devastation was needed. Right, what on earth is this? We're about to find out.
Okay, it's definitely different this time around. What's that? What the? What the? I'm being chased. Hurry, gun! Why is a Porygon in here? Why is he got to... I want to catch it. But I'm worried about my Pokemon, like, already suffering losses. I mean, I do have standard revives. Oh, I got it. Randomly, I've got a Porygon. That was unexpected. That's an Umbreon! What the? What? The Drift Loop just got me! What the? <laughs> what? Wait, nothing's there. Ah! Drift Loop! That's an Alpha Umbreon. Well, I'm not getting that right now. Whoa. I feel like they're zoning me out. I don't know what the blue shards are for, but let's try and grab some more. The hell was that noise? Just them attacking, it's fine. That's a ball. And I wouldn't mind trying to catch the... a certain guy in the midst of all that. It's Jifflins, man. Oh, there's another thing. A Stardust. Ow! Okay, it's dangerous in there. Wait, they're still attacking me! My health is low. I mean, they're still trying to go at me. Why? Why can't I not use a potion on myself? Anything cool else for me to find here? Hi, Porygon. Seems mostly this place is all about the Porygons. There's Porygons everywhere. So is there like one main Pokemon in the space-time rift? And then... A moonstone. What other reasons is there? So Porygon seems to be wild here, and not the Pokemon that are appearing to randomly attack me. Okay. That was weird. We got a Porygon, though. Don't know if we're, but... Uh, Hey, it was cool. That's a bit more exploration for you, is it? A bit worried about all this now. Oh, I'm actually being targeted currently. I wonder if each riff has different Pokemon that appear. I mean, 
probably in each area, right? That was interesting. A little bit threatening, though. <laughs> All those Pokemon bearing down onto me like that. Little bit. Hi, Professor. I went in one of those things. I've wasted a lot of time lately, and I didn't. I only caught one alpha in all that time, but I found another unknown. Got my starter evolved. Found out it's got a new form. I now have a ghost type, which I always like. Carnivine. Though it's a plant Pokemon, is gluttonous and unruly temperament. Carnivine attacks its prey with its cavernous more wide open. We've got Krogunks now as well. Poison wielder with a dazzling personality. Despite such qualities, this species has afforded a measure of popularity due to its peculiar cry and comical features. And the Hippopotas. Did I max out that too? Though large and languid, Hippopotas is difficult to detect due to its tendency to burrow into and lurk beneath the soil. When agitated or excited, it expels sand from its nostrils. Can I actually not max out the Roselia? I got loads of shards. I have no clue what they're for. That was kind of just like my way to find out what this is. <laughs> I probably run around a lot more than I should have. But uh, getting a moonstone probably isn't that bad. A small blue shard. It appears to be a fragment of some sort of implement made long ago. Green shards too. A moonstone. We now have two of them? considering it moved us back up the menu. I'll take what I can get with that. My poor Typhlosion, though. I didn't really expect him to get hit like that, I must admit. Okay. Just a quick check of my Pokedex, then. How? Research level 7. I caught an alpha too. I guess catching an alpha wasn't actually one of the things on the list. Now that we look at it, it really was not. Well, I'm satisfied. I'm moving on to the next area now. Because I feel like I dilly-dallied for quite a while. Let's check it out. Looks like some pincers. Here we are. Come on, Coastlands. Ah, oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of history. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon wait us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon. But let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? About Firespit Island, sir. Indeed, Firespit Island is an offshore volcano. You need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak to a fellow called Isken. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. wonder, will I need a, a watery Pokemon to take with me here? The Lordless Island. Well, it looks like there's a quest awaiting for me up front. No, let me out. One of those skitch Pokemon that runs away from humans real quick. If you want to catch Pokemon like that, smoke bombs and stealth sprays are your friends. They'll hide you from the keen eyes and ears of even the scariest wild Pokemon. I hope so. I should have checked out the farm and got some more acorns. Hmm.
I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I'm here and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Oh, uh, why? <laughs> okay, I'm game. Very good. You have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. In have I? Why is there a random Eevee here? Wait, wait. I guess the rules weren't invented yet. Can't just randomly attack me with an Eevee too. Not how this works. Oh, Glacian lived. Eevee's just looking around. Are you just a wild Eevee? Are you just somehow here incidentally? Oh, that fire flamethrower looked cool. I guess X doesn't work. <laughs> Look at that! Sent out two Pokemon at once. You can't do that. I mean, you can. Why am I not doing it? Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Alright. With you, I think you and I can be frank. With you, I can be frank, even. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth... I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat, either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, I have to say Polina, she's very dear to me. No matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another. But she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favour to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. <laughs> 